Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to lend on compound finance. So specifically, we're gonna be lending DIA on compound finance. And this video is gonna be showing you sort of through the whole process, as well as explaining a few of the features and also risks along the way. So if you're interested in uh, getting a return on your DAI or your Ethereum or other um, Ethereum based assets, then in this video, I'll be explaining exactly how you can do that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up our web browser. So you can see here I'm on DeFi Pulse and it's got um, a couple of the lending rates for Compound, Fulcrum and DYDX. You can see here at present on Compound Finance, there is a 7.39 uh, annual return and that's based on the DIA asset. You can also lend other types of assets as well. I'll get onto that in a moment. Uh, the wallet that we're gonna be using is the Ethereum, uh, the MetaMask wallet. Uh, what I would say is that it's good for a small amount of money. It's the sim simplest and easiest way to use uh, the Compound Finance platform. So you're going to be using MetaMask, but if you're going to be lending any larger amounts of money, I would recommend using uh, MetaMask combined with a uh, like a Ledger Nano uh, S or X, or even using your um, hardware wallet directly with the Compound Finance app. Um, as we uh, continue on, I'll sort of explain a little bit more about that. So yeah, for small amounts of money, use the MetaMask wallet. For larger amounts, you definitely wanna take the extra precautions and use it in conjunction with the hardware wallet. Okay, so let's go over to Compound. So the website is compound.finance. You can see that's uh, linked up here. And if we scroll down, you can see a few more of, uh, sorry, let me go to markets. You can see a few more of the assets so you can see the Ethereum, you've got the supply there. You've also got the returns. So this is the uh, supply, basically the return that you're gonna be getting back or thereabouts. Um, there's a few more details um, I need to explain on that also. But uh, in this video, we're gonna be lending out DAI. So DAI is basically Ethereum, uh, an Ethereum stable coin. It's pegged to the dollar. So one DAI equals one dollar. And you can see here we get pretty much the best return on compound finance. There's a few other assets as well that you can also lend out and the process is essentially uh, the same, but we're gonna be focusing on lending DAI. So if you go all the way back to the top on compound finance, if we click on the app button, you can see we can connect to compound finance. You can use the Coinbase, Ledger or MetaMask. So we're gonna be using the MetaMask wallet. And just to show you, I've already got Obviously, the, the plugin is installed. If you haven't got MetaMask, I've already got some videos on it if you are interested in setting that up. Uh, but just to show you, we have a couple of balances. We've got a little bit of Ethereum, 0.05 Ethereum, and we've also got five uh, DAI. So that's the wallet that we're gonna be using. So if we go back to Compound Finance, and if we select MetaMask, what it's gonna do is connect to the wallet and basically ask for approval. Um, at this point, you're not sending um, any funds backwards or forwards. Um, all you're doing is basically letting the Compound Finance app kind of uh, view your balance. So we should see a little uh, pop-up somewhere. Okay, so just very quickly, a uh, slight bug there. So you have to turn off the shields or basically just confirm it. This is a new install of the Brave browser on this particular machine. So I think that's why it was stopping this uh, MetaMask notification from popping up. So if you find that it doesn't pop up, then try turning off the Brave Shields or just change the setting. Um, I, I don't think it will apply to you guys, but anyway, just to make you aware. So it comes up with this compound protocols and it just basically wants to connect to your wallet and just uh, check your balances. So that is the first part of the setup. So we click on connect. So you can see on compound finance now, you've got the uh, US dollars um, is basically the setting for your balances. And you can see the first part of our MetaMask wallet there. So 0x9c, and that should match up to your address on your wallet. So you can see the demo wallet, 0x9c. So just make sure the two uh, link up correctly there. So then what we've got is uh, all of the um, various assets that you can lend out. And like I said, we're gonna be focusing on DAI. So if we click on DAI, And then what you have to do is you have to enable each asset individually. So if you want to enable DAI, you have to go through this process. If you want to uh, lend uh, Ethereum, you have to go through the same sort of process. And um, you know, for any other asset, that's also on here as well. So for DAI, we want to enable DAI. So this is gonna be kind of our first transaction. So you can see here, we're sending um, a tiny amount of uh, data and there is a gas fee as well. So the gas fee is reasonable, it's six cents. 
Um, the gas fees sometimes can be a little bit expensive, so just double check before you send that gas. Sometimes they can be automatically calculated, but sometimes it can be quite high relative to the, to the amounts that you've sent in. So six cents, you're just gonna confirm it, and then we can uh, continue on. So we click on confirm. So then you can see what's happened now is that our wallet has sent uh, a small transaction to Compound. Uh, it will basically get processed on the blockchain and then it will enable us uh, to go to the next process. So we just need to leave that for uh, just a couple of minutes and that should process for us. Okay, so that's gone through now. It only took roughly about a minute. So now there's a few other options for us. Uh, we want to supply. Um, I'll save borrowing for uh, another video. Let's just keep this focused on lending. Uh, let's take a look at some of the numbers first of all. So on this DAI supply side, you've got 7.37%. Uh, so that is your total return over uh, a year period. Uh, one sort of point to mention is that you have this utilization figure. So you can see it's currently at 62.23%. So effectively, if um, if all of that in the uh, the lending pool was at 100% utilization, or the or the money that you lent was at 100% utilization, then you'd get that a uh, full supply amount APR. Um, but with the utilization at 60%, you're not going to basically get the full return. Only 62% of your money in the pool is going to be utilized, and it will change over time. Typically, it's between sort of 60 and 70%. So your returns are going to be based on that 60 and 70%, not the full amount of money that's actually in the pool. Um, hopefully that makes uh, sense. So just take note of that utilization factor. If it's really low, then, then it's obviously gonna dramatically um, affect your earnings. Uh, so continuing on, uh, we want to click on supply. And now here we want to choose uh, the balance that we want to lend onto the marketplace. So in our wallet we had, I've already said that we've got five die, so that's how much we're gonna be lending um, today. So select five, and then we would go to supply. So then with the MetaMask uh, integration, it creates a new transaction. So you can see here, like I said, the, uh, the gas fee is quite expensive. We could edit that, but for simplicity in this video, I'm just going to uh, confirm it. Yeah, so uh, pay attention to the gas fee. Sometimes it can be quite expensive for small transactions. Um, but like I say, just for simplicity and save some mess around with gas fees and stuff, I'll just let it go. Um, so the same sort of process as we did when we sort of first um, activated the, um, the account. So we've just got to wait for the confirmation to go through and literally it's just gone through right now. So you can see here that our supply balance is now five DAI. Uh, we can add to it by clicking on supply again or we can withdraw those funds uh, back to our wallet. Um, we can do that at any time. Uh, what also happens at the same time is when you uh, send um, DIA from your MetaMask wallet to Compound Finance, uh, what also happens is Compound Finance sends back to your wallet a token called CDIA. And basically that is kind of like your receipt effectively to claim your real DIA back. So uh, those funds that are in your MetaMask wallet, I don't know if it will show, I might have to um, add them. Uh, See so if I do see die, you should be able to see them. Yeah, so compound die here. So what you should see is there's a balance of a compound die. So you can see this balance here. So this balance of this C die, uh, just keep it in your wallet. Don't send it away or destroy it or anything like that. Like I said, that is basically your uh, your receipt effectively to claim your real die back. So just make a note of that. Um, and the, from this point onwards, we are uh, effectively lending. So what you'll see uh, as you continue on is that your supply balance obviously will stay at f uh, five, um, but over time you will see that your uh, dire uh, balance gradually increases. The way the uh, payouts are done, it's done per block. So every 15 seconds or every Ethereum block, uh, your, your supply balance will go up ever so slightly based on the supply APR amount. Um, so if you keep back and check back in an hour or a day, what you should notice is that your uh, balance is continually increasing. The other cool thing about compound finance is it is compounding. So what that means is that when you are repaid your interest back, 
that is also uh, relent and it compounds over time. So it's not like you're just lending, you're just your initial five. Anything that gets paid back to you will also be relent and it you know builds up over time. So you can see just down here, we've got this interest earned. So yeah, at the moment it's got zero die. Um, but like I say, if you check back in a day, you should see that starts um, to increase. Okay guys, so just one extra thing. So I know you guys will be interested in uh, knowing, but the withdrawing process, like I say, you can take your funds back out at any time. To do that, it's really simple. You go to the Compound Finance website, you click on app, connect your MetaMask wallet as you've already done, and then you go to withdraw. Type in your amount, click withdraw, and uh, you know continue with the transaction. Uh, what other question you guys might ask is, what is this use as collateral option? Effectively, you can borrow against any money that you've got or any uh, tokens or assets that you've got on Compound Finance. So if you want to kind of uh, lend and also borrow against your lendings, you can use this use collateral uh, function and that will allow you to borrow against your uh, lending amount. But I'll talk about borrowing um, another day, another time. Okay guys, so that's it. This has been me, Lee, lending on Compound Finance. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, found it useful and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you did like this type of video, uh, again, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, produce more of this type of content for you guys. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.